Joss Ackland, a British actor, passed away at the age of 95. According to the actor's family, the Mighty Ducks and White Mischief star died on Sunday peacefully while surrounded by family. The statement went on, Ackland brought a unique intensity and gravitas to his roles with his distinctive voice and commanding presence. One of the most gifted and adored actors in Britain, he will be remembered for that. Ackland was said to as a beloved father by his family. With Rosemary Kirkcaldy, his 51-year wife, he had seven children before she passed away in 2002 from motor neuron disease. In addition, he had eight great-grandchildren and 32 grandchildren. A representative for Ackland told The Post, Joss was a long-term client and great friend who remained lucid, erudite, and mischievous to the very end. It's yet unknown what caused the distinguished CBE, commander of the Order of the British Empire Holder, to pass away. Over the course of her six-decade playing career, Ackland, a native of North Kensington, worked alongside some of the biggest stars to ever grace the silver screen, such as Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin, Dame Maggie Smith, and Dame Judi Dench. At the age of 17, the BAFTA nominee debuted on stage in the 1945 production of The Hasty Heart. He attended London's Central School of Speech and Drama. Following a series of successful parts, Ackland and his spouse made the decision to go to South Africa. However, in 1957, police conducted a raid on their residence and seized the book Black Beauty due to concerns that the narrative criticized apartheid. The actor previously told the Daily Mail, then one day we were raided by the police and they confiscated a book, Black Beauty, because the horse was black. I had to leave quickly because I was going to prison. The actor's career really took off after he joined the well-known nonprofit Old Vic Theater Troupe after his return. After playing Hans opposite Emilio Estevez in a number of high-profile movies, including Lethal Weapon 2 Inches and the Mighty Ducks series, Ackland admitted to being a workaholic and regretting his roles in some awful films to the BBC. The actor remarked in 2001, I'm so tired of not being able to make a movie without a car chase or the villain dying twice. It's all exactly the same. 